guys, it's Faith and welcome back. Today we're going to be making strawberry infused Campari. Campari is a bittersweet Italian liqueur that's traditionally drank as part of their pre-dinner rituals. And the bittersweet flavors will open up the appetite and get you ready for your meal. Campari is also a critical ingredient in the Negroni cocktail. The Negroni cocktail is a simple recipe that's composed of three primary ingredients, gin, Campari, and sweet vermouth. And well, what better than a strawberry infused version, right? I originally made this last year for Negroni week because I saw a ton of really great recipes. And after figuring out how easy it was to make at home, I decided to do it again. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make your own. To start, just slice up your strawberries. You don't have to be super precise about this, but just chop them up so that there's a larger surface area for the infusion. Now, just put it in a jar. Once you've got your strawberries in the jar, just fill it up with Campari. Make sure the strawberries are fully submerged and add an extra inch or so. Cover up your container and give it a gentle shake. And now we wait. Let it sit for three to five days and give it a shake every once in a while. No need to put it in the fridge, you can just leave it out. Use a coffee filter to strain the infusion into a clean container. A coffee filter will give you the cleanest strain, but you can use a mesh strainer as well. After it's done, you can leave it in a closed jar. It should be good for at least a few months. You don't have to keep it in the fridge, but it might help it save better. Over time, the strawberry flavor might get milder or may not taste as fresh, though it most likely will not make you sick. Strawberries are primarily composed of water and sugar along with some vitamins and other things that are healthy for you. And Campari is really a mix of alcohol, water, and sugar as well as a bunch of other flavorings. This one is 24 percentage alcohol by volume but then it has a significant amount of sugar and uh, other bittering flavors. So when you combine the two, because the concentration of water in the strawberry is much higher than it is in the Campari the molecules will transfer from the strawberry into the Campari and along with just water, it will also bring along some of the flavor molecules and some of the color as well. So the analogy is, is if you're at a bar and it's super crowded and then you discover a completely empty room. The natural tendency might be to move into that empty room so you have a little bit more space. So molecules will tend to work in a similar way. So back to this. Because the concentration of water molecules is much higher in the strawberry than it is in the Campari, when you mix the two, the water will flow from the strawberries into the Campari, and along with it, so will some other molecules such as the flavors and the color, etc. So after a few days, you'll notice that the strawberry is much less intense in color, and if you taste it, it's going to taste a lot like alcohol and less like a traditional strawberry. Meanwhile, the liquid that you'll have will taste a lot more like strawberry and also pick up some of the color from the strawberry, which you probably won't be able to tell because Campari is already super red to begin with. So you can apply this process to any type of infusions using any type of fruit or vegetables or herbs and any type of spirit. Generally with infusions, it's recommended to use a higher proof spirit to do your infusion and the reason for that is because the higher proof spirit will have a higher concentration of alcohol to water and therefore the less water it has, the better it's able to absorb and take the water and flavor molecules from whatever you're trying to use to infuse it. So there you go! Super simple and delicious, so I hope you'll give it a try. Mm -hmm. 